Hello, hello. I thought I'd like to show you my Nishijin Super Deluxe Power Flash Pachinko Machine. Um, this particular machine was the second one I ever owned, and it's special uh, as far as vintage pachinko machines go. And why is it special? It's special because it's one of two vintage um, pachinko machines that operate off electricity for gameplay, whereas most pachinko machines, or just about all, of the vintage type uh, run on gravity alone and the only reason you have electricity is for the jackpot lights or the low hopper lights that come on. Otherwise the games run off of gravity alone and you don't need electricity. So on this particular machine there are solenoids within the machine that open and close tulips and that's part of the gameplay. The other vintage machine that runs off electricity is a canless machine. That's a, a type of Nishijin machine that has a motor within the machine and it lifts the balls to the hopper in the back of the machine so that you don't have to do that, which is an awesome feature. And it turns out that happened to be the first pachinko I ever bought, not knowing anything about pachinko machines. So I wound up getting a countless machine first. So I thought all machines ran off electricity. Little did I know that they don't. Only a canless machine does and this particular machine, which is my second machine. And again, I just bought this machine, didn't know anything about it. So let me go over it with you to show you why it's special. If you're not familiar with Pachinko Machine, they're, they're a gambling machine and you uh, play with balls and you win balls and then with the balls that you won you turn them in and you turn them in for prizes depending on how many balls you won. And how you do that is you shoot um, the balls into the play field here and try to get a ball to land in a pocket. Here you can see all the different pockets. Each of these pockets, if a ball goes enters, you get to pay out more balls. So the object, obviously, is to get a ball in the pocket. On this particular machine, there's two style of pockets. You have stationary pockets, such as these three right here, and basically this one as well. And you have tulip pockets. That's all these other pockets right here, the orange, the yellow, and the pink. The tulip pockets are mechanical pockets. They start off, well not necessarily they start off, but uh, they have small holes for the ball to enter and just about the width of the ball, just like the stationary pocket. So it's very difficult to get the balls into these pockets. On the tulips, what makes them special is if the ball enters the pocket, then these two flaps up here are wings, if you want to call them wings, open up so it makes the pocket much wider and much easier to get a ball back in and for a better chance of a jackpot. So I'll give you an example. Say on the jack tulip right here a ball enters. You get your payout of balls and you notice the wings open and now your pocket is very wide so it's obviously much easier for a ball to enter again. Once that happens, once the following ball that enters You get the payout and you saw the tulip closed up. So that's a standard fare for all pachinko machines that have tulips. They open and close and you have the standard pockets like such as up here, they're just stationary, ball enters, you get your payout and that's it. What makes Super F Power Flash um, different and why it runs off electricity is watch this. Say you get a ball in a king. See on the left side there's two kings on the left side and the right side. If you get a ball on the king, you notice you got your payout and it opened all the tulips on the left side. That was the left king, so the left tulips are all open now and you can see the difference how wide they are compared to a closed tulip. So now, if you enter a ball on any of the tulips, they close and you get your payout. And here you are. You see how the tools go. Right now I have to refill the hopper because um, I don't know if you can hear me. Showing this demonstration really goes to the balls from the hopper and it'll go low and the machine will stop functioning until I reload it. So let me reload real quick.
Okay. So let's continue. Now, here's one of the wild features. We'll open up the king again. Get our payout. And remember before, once we had the four open on the left side, if you get a ball in either of these orange um, tulips, you get your payout and, and they close respectively each time a ball enters. Here's the, the tricky part. If you happen to open them, say you get a ball in the king and they all open, and say your next ball comes down and doesn't hit any of these but it hits the queen, watch what happens. You see that? She got real nasty and closed the, all the tulips up on you. So now you're back to the small pockets. So what you want to do is if you get a king and you open up all the tulips, you don't want to get a queen first because she'll close all your tulips on you. And that's the same on the right side. You get uh, the right side king, opens up all the tulips on the right. If you get the queen first, she'll close up all those. Now here's a really cool feature on this. On most um, pachinko machines it's called the V pocket or victory pocket and that's like the big payout pocket. And this particular machine is at the top and most of the vintage it's usually the top center um, pocket. So watch what happens if you get a ball in the V pocket. Isn't that cool? That's what makes Power Flash such a widely liked machine. It's a really great feature. When that happens in real life, it's really dramatic. You might not uh, read the same on video. But you see how all the tools just opened up? And once again, it's the same situation. Now you can collect. If a ball goes in any of these outer ring tulips, you'll get paid for that tulip and it'll just close and you can continue on. However, if you happen to get this situation, you get the V pocket and uh, the next ball or one of the other balls hits one of the queens. Look how the queen closed up the courtyard and closed all those tulips and you would have had a ton of jackpots by getting all these balls so that's what makes this game so interesting to play is you want to get a victory pocket you want to get a king pocket and you want to hopefully try to avoid getting the queens until you collect all the other pockets first um, the center jackpot is just more for like, um, just to keep you interested in the game uh, there's a little teeter-totter here and a ball just goes right or left but still goes through the same hole in the center and if a ball enters the center hole here, it opens the two aces, or, or the two pink tulips, but then they close normally, just the same. Let me load up one more time. show you one last time we'll enter a king we'll open these two tulips as well and now we're in the same situation as if we had a V pocket almost we have the whole left side open and the two aces if we get that wicked queen closes them up isn't that a cool feature so like I said, this is a very, um, it's a fairly rare machine as vintage pachinkos go. And if people find them, if you happen to come across one, there's a good chance that it's not working. And that's because the um, solenoid coils uh, have burnt up over the years. The wiring just um, rusted through or their fine actuators um, broke off with rust over age or all the fine adjustments aren't um, set quite right so um, if you get one make sure it's working first hundred percent if you do first of all if you find one uh, make sure it's working hundred percent before you purchase it and now you see how it works and I guess that's it for the uh, power flash I'm surprised they um, called it power flash and not power flush seeing that's basically card hands and suits and 
and it's card related, but that's the name they gave it. Um, maybe I'll flip a few balls and see if we get lucky and get a center pocket. Of course, if you're in a pachinko parlor, this is a gambling machine, so getting the V pocket is the hardest uh, pocket to get because it has the potential for the largest payout. Chinko parlor. Cinco Parlor took my money. Oh, that's Machine Power Flash. And on this particular machine, like I said, it was the second Pachinko machine I ever owned. And, oh, getting stuck on the tripod here. And I made this mount for it. Because the first machine I purchased, the Kangless uh, Pachinko, had the same mount. So I thought all Pachinko machines were supposed to be mounted this way, so I just copied the mount on my first machine and made, made it for this one. It goes to show how little I knew about Pachinko at the time. Um, that's the uh, Power Flash. Um, if you were interested and want to see how the solenoids in the center of the machine work, just uh, give some comments, let me know if you like the video, if you want to see another video about the workings on the machine, uh, I'll make one. I uh, hope you like the video. If you have a pachinko machine or a pinball machine and want it restored or repaired, just contact me at Pintech at uh, Pintech at mail.com. Thanks for watching.